If communication is discussed in Germany, the name Friedemann Schulz von Thun is sure to come up. People encounter his models at school, in university. It has become common knowledge to some degree. But who is this guy? Why is he so well known and what are those models he created? Today I will give you a brief introduction and an overview. Welcome to the SoftScale channel. My name is Sebastian Jung and today I'd like to give you a short introduction to Schulz von Thun and his communication psychology and an overview of the relevant topics. First of all, who is this Friedemann Schulz von Thun? First of all, he is a psychologist, a communication psychologist. He has studied psychology in Hamburg and he has earned his doctorate in 73 and uh, then he became a professor in Hamburg himself from 76 to 2009 where he retired as a professor. So he was a professor and has earned some academic merits in the field of psychology. But of course there is more. When Schulz von Thun was a student he had um, quite a famous well-known professor, one Reinhard Tausch. This Reinhard Tausch is important both in the field of psychology and in the field of pedagogy, so quite an important man. Um, Schulz von Thun had a great mentor and he became an assistant to this Professor Tausch. Um, Professor Tausch started to give trainings for teachers, for managers, and Schulz von Thun as his assistant accompanied him. Um, those trainings were about communication, at first um, specifically about leadership. What Reinhard Tausch wanted to do, he wanted to get rid of the authoritarian leadership style of the time of the Kaiser and of, um, of the Third Reich time and he wanted to replace it with the cooperative style of leadership. And later they moved on to other topics of communication. And in those trainings, uh, Schulz von Thun developed his communication square, the model he is best known for, that today is taught in schools and universities in Germany. When Schulz von Thun became a professor himself, he continued the trainings and he still continued them. When he retired as a professor, he founded the Schulz von Thun Institute to continue um, this trainings. So he is also a communication consultant and trainer. And finally he has written and published a number of books. Uh, most well known is his series Miteinander Reden, literally talking to each other, a total of four volumes that unfortunately has not been translated into English. Um, there are other books he has written or uh, published. I will talk more about them later. Now, what is most interesting to us, obviously, are those models Schulz von Thun has created. The toolbox that is used by the Schulz von Thun Institute currently um, uh, consists of six models and we will have a brief look at them. We have uh, videos here on the channel for each of those models. Some of them even have uh, more than one. I will link to the Schulz von Thun playlist in the video description. There you can find all of our Schulz von Thun videos. First of all, there is the communication square probably Schulz von Thun's most famous model. Uh, briefly summarized, the communication square um, splits up messages we send, everything we say in communication into four different aspects. For example, uh, let's say I say it's pretty cold in here. There is of course some factual information. The room temperature is low. But I'm also uh, giving away something about myself. I am cold. 
and there is also an appeal in there. Maybe please close the window or please turn up the heater. And this piece of communication also contains some uh, um, information about the relationship I have to the person I talk to and what I think of the person I talk to. For example, I could also say, you close the window right away, hurry up, but I don't do that. And this says something about the relationship between me and the other person. Um, Schulz von Thun says that we all talk using four different beaks. So we place emphasis, uh, we can place more or less emphasis on each of those four aspects. And similarly, we listen with four different ears. So also when listening, we place more or less emphasis on those different aspects. The communication square is great to better understand communication and to better understand problems in communication and misunderstandings. However, what we probably want to know is how can we communicate better? How can we practice good communication? And there Schulz von Thun has a clear ideal, which is appropriate congruency. This means that on the one hand, our communication is appropriate to ourselves. It is authentic. And on the other hand, our communication is appropriate to the situation we are in. And this sounds easy, but of course it is not. But we have some uh, models here to help us. First of all, there is the model of the inner team. It deals with what's going on inside of us that will, of course, then reflect in our communication. In a classic example by Schulz von Thun, um, a student says to another student, yes, you can borrow my notes. And this is the result of two different voices inside of this student. One voice says, oh, you have to be a good friend to all other students. You always have to be friendly and helpful. Give him your notes. And the other voice says, oh, this damned freeloader should have taken, note, should have taken notes by himself. You are taken advantage of here. Don't give away your notes. And those different voices, impulses, opinions we have in ourselves, they are visualized as different members of our inner team. And to reach better communication, we can get to know those members of our inner team better and learn how to deal with them in a good way. Mm. A nice addition to the model of the inner team and a model I particularly like is the square of values and development. It states, uh, briefly said, that virtues are not um, absolute, but what we need is the right balance. For example, frugality on its own will degenerate into stinginess while generosity, on the other hand, uh, on its own, will degenerate into wastefulness. Only if I am capable of both, of being frugal and of being generous, and if, can, and if I can switch between them according to the situation, only then those two virtues can really unfold in this balance. Um, I said before that to reach appropriate congruency, we need to be true to ourselves, but we also need to be true to the situation. And here the model for situational communication can help us. Let's say, for example, I'm a person who is very cheerful and always cracking jokes and being very loud and laughing and then drawing attention to myself, things like that. This, uh, if, I, if I behave like that, I am completely authentic, I'm completely true to myself. And this would be quite appropriate if I am, for example, having some drinks with my friends in the evening. This is a situation where I am expected to be totally myself and I can behave in a fully authentic way. 
but let's say I am in a formal business meeting. Here, professional behavior is expected of me, so I have to turn down this authenticity, authenticity a bit to be appropriate to the situation. And I have to do this even more if I am attending a funeral, because there I have to accept that I can't draw attention to myself. The center of attention needs to be the person who has passed away, so I have to be even more, even, even less authentic to be um, appropriate to the situation. Uh, the model for situational communication deals with the, the precedence, the story that has led to the current situation, with the goals we want to reach in the current situation, with the thematic constellation and with the interpersonal constellation. So what are the topics that are important here and who are the people who are involved and why are they involved, what roles do they play, what motives, what goals do they have. In communication, relationships play a major role. Relationships are quite important and to better understand relationships, the Riemann-Thoman model can be helpful. The Riemann-Thoman model describes four different directions. Closeness and distance, continuity and change. And those four directions um, strongly influence our behavior. They are strongly reflected in our behavior. Let's say, for example, a friend of mine is going through a crisis and I want to support and help my friend. So I wonder, what should I do? What would be the right thing for me? What would I need in such a situation? And I might come up with the idea, oh, if I would be in such a situation, the best, uh, what I would wish for would be to be left alone, to be on my own, so I can think things through on my own, come to terms with everything and without being bothered by others. And so I might say, oh, well, I will do just that. I will leave my friend alone. However, this might be the completely wrong thing to do because my friend probably is different from myself and he might be someone who, who needs comfort and who needs someone to spend him company, to listen to his problems, to support him and he might need closeness in such a situation. So, as you see, those differences between us can lead to problems. They play an important role important role in our relationships and the Riemann-Thoman model can be quite helpful to better understand this. The Riemann-Thoman model, by the way, is the only model in this list that was not developed by Schulz von Thun himself, but by Christoph Thoman based on a book by one Fritz Riemann. Um, Christoph Thoman also has his own method called Klärungshilfe, um, clarification help, literally a method for mediation, for resolving conflicts, uh, just on a, on a side note. In relationships, uh, if there are problems, a vicious circle might emerge and there is a model for that as well. A classic example would be a relationship between one person who um, favors closeness, who always wants to spend a lot of time together, have intimate conversations and so on, and another person who favors distance, who needs a lot of time on their own and who is uh, very fond of their independence and so on. Now, uh, the closeness partner might think, oh, they are withdrawing from me, uh, the relationship is, is suffering and I have to uh, make things right by having more closeness, by spending more time with them, getting closer to them. And this might uh, um, strike some fear into the distance partner who thinks, oh no, I'm, I'm losing my independence, I'm losing my own space, I have to distance myself more, which in turn makes the closeness partner more afraid, which in turn leads to the distance partner distancing himself even more, and so on. 
Um, those six models, as I said, are the most important ones. They are the toolbox used by the Schulz von Thun Institute. However, there are two more I should mention. First of all, when Schulz von Thun acquired his doctorate, the work he created was about comprehensibility in knowledge and information transfer. So how can we phrase information in a way that is easy to understand, easy to comprehend? And there was, uh, there was a book about this published by Reinhard Tausch, Inghard Langer and Schulz von Thun called Sich verständlich ausdrücken, literally expressing oneself comprehensively. Uh, we don't have a video about this one yet, but one is sure to come in the future. Again, unfortunately, the book is not available in English. And there is also a model of the model of communication styles. This was presented in the second volume of the Miteinander Reden series. Um, this model deals with certain types of behavior we all exhibit more or less in different situations, different communication styles, how they interact with each other, how vicious circles can emerge and so on. Um, this model hardly appears in later publications and it is not uh, currently used by the, by the Schulz von Thun Institute, is also not taught in their courses. It was pretty much replaced by the riemann thurman model. But we have uh, two videos about this model on the channel. It is interesting nonetheless. Finally, let's uh, have a brief look at the books. Again, as I stated before, unfortunately, there is no English translation. The most important series is Miteinander Reden, four volumes. Um, the first, uh, first volume deals with the communication square. Uh, by the way, there actually is an English translation of this book. Um, it is available at the Schulz von Thun Institute, but as I understand, it is only available to companies. So I guess you have to uh, buy a certain number of, of uh, volumes. Um, it is probably printed on demand, something like that. Uh, if you are interested in it, um, you should contact the Institute. Um, the second volume of Miteinander Reden introduces the communication styles I just mentioned and it also introduces the square of values and development and the vicious circles. The third volume introduces the inner team and also situational communication. Finally, the fourth volume is a small supplementary volume uh, it is called Questions and Answers. It includes some additional information to the topics from the previous volumes, but it does not introduce any new topics. There are plenty of other books by Schulz von Thun or books Schulz von Thun was involved in, often as a publisher uh, or where he contributed some essays. Um, important to mention is the series Miteinander Reden Praxis, uh, talking to each other, practical applications. Um, there are plenty of books in that series. Among others, uh, Christoph Thoman's books about Klärungshilfe, his approach to mediation, have been published in that series. We haven't covered a lot of those in videos yet, but there are more to come for sure. The latest book by Schulz von Thun is called Erfülltes Leben, Literally Fulfilled Life, where he tries to apply his concept of congruity uh, on life as a whole and uh, try to figure out what uh, is uh, required for an overall fulfilled life. We have a book review about that on the channel. Um, finally, I should mention this small brochure. 
Um, six tools for clear communication. This is one of the few publications that are available in English. Uh, this brochure is available from the Schulz von Thun Institute. It briefly describes the six models I mentioned earlier and it also briefly describes the uh, Hamburg approach to uh, clear communication, to comprehensible communication I mentioned before. Um, I have to uh, note though that this is, uh, as I understand it, this brochure is not so much um, intended for English speaking readers, but it is for German readers who want to give lectures in English and who need some vocabulary, some help to prepare for those lectures. Uh, it is available at the Schulz von Thun Institute, but rather expensive, 30, 30 euro if I remember correctly. Um, we will uh, provide a link to the site about it in the video description. Finally, I'd, say if, I'd like to say a few words about the Schulz von Thun Institute. I mentioned frequently by now, um, this institute is uh, for Schulz von Thun to continue the training business. It provides a wide range of courses, of seminars. There are courses for trainers and coaches and personal managers. There are coach, uh, courses for uh, managers for uh, people in social professions and many more. Uh, they are all only available in German though. Um, the Institute, uh, there are uh, various trainers, consultants at the Schulz von Thun Institute. Schulz von Thun himself only makes uh, brief appearances um, by now uh, and has some, some uh, rather short seminars. So most seminars are provided by other trainers by now. Um, I will provide a link to the Institute in the video description. Please note though that uh, not the entire page is available in English, but just a short about us section. I will specifically link to that one. And I will also provide a link to the page about uh, book translations. Um, yeah, as I frequently mentioned, uh, very few materials are available in English, but there are several translations in other languages, Chinese, Korean, and many more. So maybe there is a language you know among them. Um, I will provide a link in the video description. You can find all our videos about Schulz von Thun and his models in our Schulz von Thun playlist. I will link to it in the video description and it will also be displayed at the end of the video. Um, before you leave, I would be quite happy about a like for the video and a subscription to the channel. This is an expression with a clear emphasis on the appeal side. We will see each other again next week or maybe in the next Schulz von Thun video. For now, I'll take my leave. Have a nice day. See you next time.